Good morning. This is Mata G. So tip number 18 is a continuation of suffering. Now, the Buddha was very wise and he made sure that he left information for the pieces of the suffering as he usually described it. So the sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair. This is the classic statement of the bucket full of suffering. And what is sorrow? The sorrow, sorrowing, sorrowfulness, the inner sorrow, the inner sorriness of one who has encountered some misfortune or is affected by some painful state and this is caused to call suffering. And what friends is lamentation? It is the wail, the lament, the wailing and lamenting, bewailing and lamentation of one who has encountered some misfortune or is affected by some painful state, and this is called lamentation. And what friends, what friends, is pain, bodily pain, bodily discontent, painful, uncomfortable feeling, born of bodily conduct, this is called pain. And what, friends, is grief? It is the mental pain, the mental discomfort, painful, uncomfortable feeling born of mental conduct, contact. Mental contact, this is called grief. And what, friends, is despair? It is the trouble, the despair of the tribulation and desperation of one who has encountered this misfortune or is affected by some painful state, and this is called despair. And what, friends, is not to obtain what one wants is suffering. To be subject to birth, there comes the wish, oh, that we were not subject to birth. That birth would not come to us. But this is not to be obtained by wishing. And not to obtain what one wants is suffering. To beings subject to the causes of suffering. They also say that we wish we were not subject to these causes for suffering and to the sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair. And oh, that the despair would not come to us, but it is not to be obtained by wishing and not to obtain what one wants is a suffering. Along the lifeline, we are born and at the end we die. And this is true for all of us. And as we understand this lifeline, the place that we make the difference in this world is between the time we are born and the time we die. In that time, we are led by Lord Buddha to understand loving kindness, compassion, joy, and equanimity can open up inside us. In that way, we find a path where we can help one another. For all of us we meet upon this earth have been born, and all of us who meet upon this earth, they will die, for this is the way of all human beings. But we have all been gifted with one special thing, and that is we were born within the dispensation of this Buddha. His information is here, and we should listen to it and glean it and work with it. In that way, we can probably affect the sorrow 
lamentation, pain, grief and despair by understanding Anicca and understanding whatever arises passes away and life continues on. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.